Okay, let's hop on. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. 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 No, 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 so I will try to rush some topics uh, before the summer break so that uh, you have more time to self-study uh, during the break and uh, come back uh, um, come back after summer. Then you have um, two, three months, three months, uh, about three months lecture, then uh, study leave and then uh, exam, right? So, uh, so I will give you some more topics uh, within the uh, before the summer break, and maybe give you some past year questions so you can practice a little. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so from today onwards, uh, I won't be like typing the thing. It's quite slow, so I will just uh, share the 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 notes, and then uh, I will point uh you to read. Then we you take turn to read. So after you we read the passage, uh, then I would uh, explain. Then it's faster. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so last week uh, we were at the Shramana tradition. Okay, so today we'll continue a little bit more from the Shramana tradition and we'll go to the uh, next topic. So, uh, according to Buddhism, the lower and the higher status of oneself uh, replies on the action to be done, not by birth. Okay, Brahmanism, in Brahmanism, higher or, or lower status, it depends on the birth, the caste system, right? But Buddhism, no, it's uh, your action. So, all humans can achieve the highest status uh, through spiritual development so everybody has the equal right as long as they uh, develop their spiritual uh, achievement so shamanas were not uh, just clergy like brahmins who prayed to their gods uh, for material gains but also shamana renounced from the worldly pleasures and dedicate themselves to searching truth like we must be renounce our worldly, worldly lives so these opposed Position expects of religion by views of six uh, heretic teachers. Uh, so hopefully today we can go to the six heretic teachers topic. So these six heretic teachers uh, belong to the Shramana tradition. Okay. So in common, six of them they are against Brahmanism, against the Veda, the Vedic religion. But uh, each of them they are also different. Uh, so this is the idea. So Buddhism is under Shramana tradition. Uh, same with uh, all these uh, Shramana traditions, but we are different from them as well. Uh, so this is the idea. Huh? So first, uh, heretic teacher uh, Purana Kasapa, they denied all sins of all good uh, effects of karma. He was against the idea of reincarnation. Okay. Then Mashkari Goshala, he was a materialistic teacher. He denied human efforts. So uh, this, uh, this was similar to uh, Charvaka. So today, after the Shramana tradition, we will go and learn what is Charvaka, mm -hmm. who also taught people to enjoy life materially as nothing or will remain after death according to this will. The teacher. Pakuta Kachayana, he taught seven substances that were permanent and he denied all other things, okay? All the uh, fire, water, all these seven substances. 
Ajita uh, Kesha Kamnari, he taught people about four elements, the what, uh, earth, water, wind, and all these. He denied the reincarnation and soul. There's no soul, according to Ajita. Sanjaya Bellatiputta, he taught the uh, Amaravi Kepa doctrine that deals with escape from answering questions, whatever transcendental or ethical. Lastly, uh, Niganta, uh, he was against sacrifices and violence. Okay, so these are the six uh, heretic teachers. Uh, later on, we'll cover in details also. So now we uh, go and read the thing. Mm. Uh, who wants to take a lead to read first? Everybody will have a chance to read. <laughs> uh -huh. Who? Okay. I'll try. Uh, okay, Satasar. Okay. <laughs> Satasar will take number one. Huh? Uh, dot, mm, here. Uh, is it noisy? Okay. Okay, huh? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, here, uh, those teachers, uh, read from here, can, uh, can see the word, huh? Mm. Okay, yes. Those okay. teachers have refused the authority of Veda and, and Brahminism, its teaching and religion. The spiritual revolution had begun with discussion, investigation, and logical thinking. The Cruz uh, practiced Ajavata, bow of God, Bow of a goat, go water, bow of a bull, kukura water, bow of a dog, and various kinds of self mortification, such as fasting, sleeping on floors, walking on fire, etc., to get rid of suffering and to achieve a kevara state, liberation, being against to self indulgence in sensual pleasures. Buddhism has refused all kinds of asceticism and all views. It has challenged uh, existed uh, doctrines of uh, the Gurus too. Okay, okay, one paragraph. So uh, all the sharp, those teachers are all the Sharmana teachers that we have uh, uh, introduced just now. Okay, and uh, including Buddhism. So Buddha, Buddha is one of the Sharmana teachers. So uh, we all refuse the authority of Veda. Authority Veda means you cannot challenge. Veda say what is what. Brahmanism is first caste, first caste. Kshatriya number two, number two. You cannot challenge. This is called authority. Okay, but the Sramanas, including Buddha, they challenge. They refuse. They don't want to accept the authority of Veda and also the Brahmanism, and the religion, the Vedic religion. So they are fighting. They are fighting each other. So the spiritual revolution. So there's a spiritual revolution before the Sramana tradition come in. Veda and Brahmanism, you know, conquered the spiritual um thinking of the Indian people. But after Sramana tradition came in, people start to change their mind on spiritual development. This is called spiritual revolution had begun with discussions, investigation, and logical thinking. Before that, Brahmanism. Cannot discuss, cannot investigate, no logic. Uh, let's say the God made the people, then who made the God? No logical thinking, cannot investigate, cannot discuss. But now people start to need this. Okay, this is called the spiritual revolution. So if you're in the exam, you ask, what's the difference between Brahmanism and Shramana, Shramanism? Then you have to, you know, know this. Uh, before uh, uh, Brahmanism is, uh, they don't have logical thinking that, and they have authority, but uh, Shamanism, they have discussion, investigation, and logical thinking. That why, that's why in the sutra, always is the dialogue in between Buddha and the disciples that discuss on a topic and where that's where the sutta comes out. Huh? So recluses, recluses pr uh, practice, all these are ascetism, same thing, it's called kugyo. Kugyo. Kugyo te, uh, uh, kurushi gyo de shou. Uh, very um, torturing practice like a uh, vow of goat, uh, bull, a dog. What is it? What is it about? If they practice uh, ajavrta, vow of God means that they have to behave like a goat, they cannot eat rice, 
they can only eat the grass like that. Okay. Uh, vow of dog is like, uh, must behave like a dog, uh, like crawl like a dog and uh, bark like a dog, cannot behave like a human. So in India, even nowadays, people, some of them still practicing all this. Okay. That's why these are called the, if uh, in Buddhism, if you have attained a uh, Shrata Panaship, uh, you would get rid of the, uh, I've forgotten the, the 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 Pali term is um oh thank you thank you again can you type in the chat chat box <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's very important then now you are connecting with Buddhism you are connecting with the uh, the words that uh, you learn from Buddhism hmm. okay sila ya sila because uh. I'm coming from the Chinese and Japanese background. If it is a Japanese word, I give you the Japanese word. Uh, Sila Vrta Paramarshaya Nihon Kote Kai Kin Shu Ken Kai Kin Shu Ken. So, ne? So, Sila Vrta Paramarsha and Kai Kin Shu Ken is what is actually. Dog vow, goat vow, uh, behave like a goat, behave like a bull, hope for liberation. These are the ascetics uh, practicing. But Buddhism never practice. So if you uh, attain a Shrata you will not believe that, uh, you would not believe that, uh, 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 you will not believe that, you know? Shramana. <laughs> Mm. So if you attain Trata partnership, you will not believe that by uh, practicing all this Ajavrta go, go is go vrta, kukura vrta, wow, a dog like sleeping on the thorns, walking on fire will give you liberation. You will not believe this. This is called you will get rid of Kai Kin Shu Ken. Mm. Okay. Uh, Next, uh, maybe Raho, next paragraph, Gahapati. <clears throat> Drapati Sutta Nidana Waka in Samuti uh, Sanyukta Nikai refused the soul theory. Buddha says that he does not see any doctrine of soul that is not conductive to suffering and uh, sorrow in. Uh, Alagad Upama Sutta. Alagad Upam Sutta. According to the doctrine of Kama in Uptisat, those who do good are born in the higher realm, and other who commit evils are born in animal. Brother Brihada Kai Upanishad. It seems to be similar to Buddhist teaching, but it is not same as the teaching uh, combined Kama with soul. Mm -hmm. Buddhism explains the theory of Kama in uh, Chula Kama Vibhanga, Mahakama Vibhanga Sutta and Dhammapad in Khuddak Nikaya in the different perspective. Upanishad still accept the eternal state of soul. Buddhism is built on the love and compassion. Buddha has given new definition to the comma rebirth, the circle of life, the world of the being, the liberation, etc. 
refusing the eternalism and materialism it depends with the uh, it deal with the independent dependent origination to explain the circle of life uh, maha maha mangala maha mangal sutta singhalvad sutta vaya ga pajja sutta deal with the manners customs and the duties of people buddhism was uh, popular because buddha was very uh, charismatic charismatic in this uh, in his practice and skill his uh, disip, uh, disip, uh, disciples were enlightened and clever in introducing buddhism to the people mm, nan uh, Tithika Sutta in uh, Samyukta Nikaya deal with the explanation how we are the opinion of the contemporary teachers unlike Buddha. Purna Kashyap teachers that were no, um, where are no seen of committing evils. Uh, Makhali Ghosal criticized. Okay, sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Sacrifices. Nigantana Kutta Maha Vira, the descendant of the Parsha one Parsonat and the last fold maker, Tirthankaras, teaches non violence and existing use all the past karma by the practicing self mortification. According to the Bhagavad Gita, Ajivika lived a long ago. Their religion was uh, sorry, religion has started earlier than the Jainism. Ghosal in the third of his generation, some spiritual aspect of the religion could be seen in the Rigvet through sex and other who practiced the uh, Vritta religious was cultural uh, revolution has begun from the six teachers. Some ascetics have uh, blamed Brahmins and for their sacrifices, according to Munda Kupnishad, they are the followers of new Sramanas uh, Sabhya Sutta of the Sutta Nipat consists of six teachers and Buddhas uh, and the teaching of the Sramana groups. Okay, thank you. So we come back here. So these are the examples of uh, uh, suttas uh, that um, explain Buddhism stands at where. Huh? So uh, it teaches the difference in between Buddhism and other Sramana traditions uh, as quoted in the, the suttas. Huh? So there are all the all examples here. So the most uh, important is that um, Buddhism talk about non-self. Non-self means uh, we deny the theory of soul and eternal, eternalism, eternal state. Uh, but like the karma, you know, uh, and uh, what you call the lokudoline, the, uh, the uh, what you call the rebirth, almost the same. Huh? If you do good, you become the higher realm in the six destinies in the Lokudo. If you did uh, Avos, you born in the animal and lower realm. These are a bit similar, but the very difference is that uh, usually uh, most other, even the Shramanas, they say there is a soul and there's a, uh, there's a soul. And in the Upanishad, it talks about uh, eternal soul, the Atman, right? Atman, eternal soul. So Buddhism is rejecting this idea. This call, that's why we call non-self anatta uh, in Pali and uh, Sanskrit is uh, an Atman. Huh? Mm, so this is a big difference. So Buddha has given a new definition to karma. What is karma? Rebirth, cycle of life, huh? the world, the being, and so forth. Huh? But please remember, these are almost the same, but eternalism and materialism, no. No way in Buddhism. 
Okay. Mm. So the Buddha, uh, Buddhism stands on, then why we, okay. The problem is this. Why people say there's a soul? Because after you die, if you do good, you born again in the higher realms, right? Then if you do bad, you, you die, you're born as animal, right? So it seems like there's an eternal soul there changing the lives, right? So if there's no soul, after dying while you're born, you are born again, correct? So that's why the Upanishad says, the reason why the beings uh, after death born again, death born again, because there's an eternal soul, there's an eternalism or materialism. Then Buddhism said, yeah, rebirth, yes, okay, you will get rebirth. After you die, you born again. But there's no permanent soul. Then how to, how to, if there's no permanent figure there, why after die, you born again? Oh, because we have dependent of origination. This is the answer. Everybody, please take note. If there's no eternal soul, why after you die, you reborn, reborn? You, you are born again. Oh, because we have dependent of origination. This is the answer. Okay? Upanishad say, so. Buddhism say, dependent on origination. Okay? Mm. So, and not only that, uh, in these suttas, it explain the uh, custom, the daily lives, what to do, like uh, the duties uh, that they have learned, uh, the, 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 the Brahmanism tradition, they also have uh, in the, what you call the Rittas, do you remember? The Ritta the Rita uh, topic, the duties, uh, the customs there. So Buddhism also have, but in all these suttas. Uh, mm. So, and then it talks about some of the other teachers, uh, the differences that we, we thought we are going to learn as well. Uh, Puna talk about no sins, even though you do bad things. Maskari, Gosha, because he said after die, nothing. Okay, that's why no sins. Maskari. Kari Goshala criticizes the uh, violences, uh, no, not sacrifices, the, the Brahmanism uh, sacrifices. Niganta, Buddha, Vira, uh, what you call teaches non violence, ahimsa. That's why they are on vegetarian and uh, extinguishing all the past karma by producing self mortification. So, uh, Mahavira is actually from Jainism. Okay, Jainism. Jainism. So, Jainism, Jainism. Uh, talks about non-violence. That's why they are on vegetarian. Uh, they don't even wear clothes. Huh? And uh, uh, they and their purpose is to extinguish all past karma. Extinguish past all, all karma means finish. Fi extinguish, finish. Right? Finish all the past karma. Then they will get a, a good result. That's why they don't wear clothes. They don't eat much. They don't, everything they don't want. Why? Because they want to finish all their karma. Okay, that, that's why they practice like that. Uh, Rick Veda, okay, six teachers, okay, okay, six teachers. So this sutta also mentioned uh, the six teachers uh, and the Buddha. Uh, okay, uh, Devada Sutta in Machima Nikaya contains about uh, Jainism. Jainism is the from uh, Nikanta, Mahamira, uh, Jainism. Agivacha Gotta Sutta contains the position of Arahat disciples. <clears throat> Buddha did not want to answer irrelevant questions in the Chula, Mul, Mul, uh, uh, Chula, uh, Chula Malunkya Sutta. Buddha is only a guide and there is a total freedom to disciples in Buddhism, according to Go. Uh, Gobaka Mokalana Sutta. So we have uh, not like the Brahmanism, we have to follow the authority, but Buddha gives us freedom to think, to behave. Okay, Buddha has compared Buddhist teaching into a boat, uh, can cross a river, but not carry the shoulder after crossing. It is in the uh, Alagadupama Sutta. Huh? Uh, the Buddha taught equality in society, effort and wisdom are very much essential to realize the truth. Craving has to be eliminated to get rid of suffering. Restraint from senses is recommended for disciples and get rid of pride. Buddha said to Shariputra uh, in uh, Samyukta Nikaya that self-attachment is the sickness. So we want to get rid of self-attachment. Okay. 
Sukham viragatam loke kamanam samati kamam asmi manasa yovinayo etam ve paramam sukham. Okay, so Buddhism based on compassion and wisdom depending upon the ignorance of all karmic arises. So, uh, so sukham viragam loke kamanam samati kamam. So means that when the Happiness, okay. Happiness, uh, what you call uh, of the world come from, you get it of your uh, attachment, okay, attachment. So, ask me, manasa yo vina yo, when your mind, when your mind had get rid of all, all attachment, and this is the paramam, the highest, the top, the first class, uh, ichibang. Paramam Sukham, the first class uh, happiness. Uh, okay. Mm. So Buddhism is based on compassion and wisdom, depending on ignorance or karmic actions uh, arise. Uh, they say, uh, why, why have samsara? Avidya. Okay, avidya, ignorance. Depending on all the karmic actions, consciousness arise. Depending on consciousness, mind arise. This is depend, twelve dependent uh, origination, the twelve nidanas. I talk, I'm talking about this. There's no eternal self. Why we reborn? Because you have all these uh, depending, uh, dependent originations. Huh? Mm. So uh, the course Buddhism also based on compassion. Karaniya Metta Sutta says that uh, one should meditate on loving kindness, metta towards all beings. So this is all uh, a, a, a bit same with Jainism. Okay, so Jainism talk about non-violence, right? Uh, Mahavira talk about the uh, non-violence ahimsa. So uh, this is a bit same with the uh, metta. Okay, Karaniya Metta Sutta, the loving kindness. This is the common common thing. So got common and non-common things. So somehow uh, all these things uh, you might understand a little bit. Uh, this is my bright products itself, okay? Number six, six first. Huh? Uh, next one, maybe Hiroko. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I, I will read the Pali and you read from it is uh, later, huh? It is yes. uh. Matayataniya puttam anusa eka putta maru manurake evam pisapa butesu masam masam bhavaye aparinam aparimanam. Buddhism also say that one does not become a Brahmin or an outcast birth by action. Uh, just now, uh, this one, uh, the explanation is before this is this, okay? This is this, okay? Uh, not chacha wasalo and all this, uh, kamanam hoti brahmana. Uh, uh, what you call, um, so, uh, a uh, being a brahmin, uh, is not by birth, okay, it's not by birth, but by your action, kamana hoti brahmana. Please behave well, uh, kamana wasalo hoti. So, in Buddhism, the Buddhism also talks about brahmin, but the Buddhism. Definition of Brahmin is not by birth, not by birth, but by action. Okay, by action. This is a sutta. Okay, the sutta. Vasala sutta says so. Huh? In Brahmanism, Brahmin is defined by birth. In Buddhism, Brahmin is not by birth, but by action. So this is a difference. Uh, different but definition of Brahmin. Uh, in between the Brahmanism and Buddhism. Huh? So, uh, this Dunigasa uh, Lahuno Yatakama Gave Sino Chittasa Dhamato Satu Chittam Dattam Sukha Waham. Okay, uh, uh, English. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it is better to control the mind that is hard to control. Quick and in Indulge in sensual pleasure and the happiness it gains through it restoring. Mm. So if you want to get happiness, you have to restrain the sensual pleasures. Mm. Come. Mm. Confidence, clarity, charity, and wisdom lead to spiritual welfare while effort protection. <clears throat> 
noble friendship and uh, balanced uh, livelihood lead to the welfare in this life itself, itself uh, uh, according to <coughs> according to uh, 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 so, uh, uh, mm. drinking, gambling, wandering, wandering unseemly hours, association with evil friends, frequent seeking of entertainment and uh, idleness are conducive to poverty. Kutadantar Star explains what is a righteous living. Poverty can cause immoral beha behavior of people. There are duty to perform by human beings according to Kutadantar Star. So the way of Buddhist Sramana tradition can be seen in many of the sermons uttered by the Buddha. The main object of Buddhist Sramana is to realize to the truth. Buddhism has explained the life as a composition of aggregates, elements and faculties okay thank you thank you so, very much hmm, thank you so these are the uh, contents that buddhism is talking about noble french is a kalanya mitra huh? kalanya mitra uh, so uh, what buddhism teaches uh, teachers have to have uh, confidence actually it's the subtle okay faith morality charity wisdom and all these things have good friendship uh, with good people uh, avoid these things, huh? drinking, gambling, avoid all these things. Huh? Um, idleness means uh, lazy in practicing the Dharma. This is called idleness. Doing nothing, uh, but not practicing the Dharma, not listening to Dharma, this is called idleness. And all, all these things are actually uh, will bring you poverty. Bimpo. Mazushi <laughs> seikatsu. Not gain this. So, um, okay, so it is very easy to understand. Uh, so, um, so the, being a monk, a shramana, the purpose is to what? To realize the truth, okay? To realize the truth, the Dhamma. And Buddha explained the life is uh, composed by five aggregates, the five aggregates, uh, Rupa Vedana, uh, Sanya, uh, Sanskara, uh, 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 Vijnana, right? All these five uh, aggregates. Huh? So uh, suffering is caused by grasping. Uh, this is the, the thing. Uh -huh. uh, some have grasping to those various kinds of forms without knowing and they are subject to suffering again and again and they are heedless. So in the Sutta, uh, Nipata is says so. Uh -huh. uh, why we have suffering? Because we have grasping. Okay, we have grasping. Hmm. Grasping means attachment, attachment. Huh? Hmm. So, okay, so let go attachment. The Buddhism asks us to let go attachment. The world is impermanent, okay. Suffering and soullessness, according to Buddhism. So, these are the key words of Buddhism's stand suffering, impermanence, soullessness. It is empty and nothing is eternal, okay. Upanishad said there's an eternal soul, eternal self. What people think uh, as well is an illusion. Therefore, it has to be realized through penetrative insight. Okay, insight practice. <laughs> Wait, too big, huh? Where is it? Uh, realize the inside. What well, six, seven, eh? Seven here. Seven. Okay. Buddha allowed individuals to be ordained without any discrimination. At the same time, were careful to protect the new community. Therefore, rules were formed when matters arose. <coughs> According to the following qualifications were recommended by the Buddha and the Vinaya and all the ordained people. So equality. Oh? So in Buddhism, not like Brahmanism, they have caste system. Uh, not everybody has the equal right. 
But uh, in Buddhism, everybody can become a monk. So this is the difference, okay? There's no discrimination, but uh, there are rules to be ordained. So although everybody can become a monk, but there are still conditions and uh, qualifications, uh, minimum requirements to become a monk. So uh, there are nine, uh, what you call, um, nine uh, conditions, uh, ten, uh, uh, so nine, not suffering from infectious disease like skin rash, swelling, leprosy, and pulmonary sickness, uh, epilepsy. Uh, and uh, must be a human being. And uh, to be a monk must be a man. To be a nun must be a, a woman. Must be 20 years old and above not working as a soldier, not having borrowed money, means that don't have debts, huh? uh, and uh, not being a slave, it's not a slave, uh, having permission from the parents, and uh, with the ropes and arms bow ready, then only we can ordain you as a monk. Other religions will not agree to give freedom to women during the 6th century. Uh, you should remember the women are very low priority in, in the ancient India. So it's even lower than a cow. Okay, But the Buddha was concerned of women's freedom when his uh, foster mother, Aunty Mahapachapati, approached him asking uh, permission to become nun ordin ordination. Although the Buddha was uh, on the consideration for two times, actually the Buddha refused uh, because in last time the culture in India, women uh, are not allowed to come out of the house. So it's actually against the culture and the norm of the ancient people. So that's why the Buddha uh, rejected twice. But after he has seen any catastrophe that might arise due to the opposite sex, huh? also he, he saw something in the future if, uh, he ordained uh, women, you know, something, you know, will happen in the, in the Buddhism. But later, Buddha agreed to give permission to women for ordination uh, on the following important rules. So these eight rules uh, on the, uh, uh, agree. That's why the Buddha uh, agreed to ordain the women. Huh? Eight important rules of a bhikkhuni, uh, eight garudhamma. First one, the, the bhikkhuni must respect the monk regardless of their age. Number two, not live far away from the monks. Number three, to meet once in the fortnight, uh, for, uh, half, half month meet once uh, with the monk to discuss uh, and uh, get the teaching. Uh, number four, to release from the Vasana rules together with monks. Uh, uh, to follow two years of moral training oneself when having committed heavy offenses. To be a novice before receiving higher ordination. So, uh, these are the basic uh, rules uh, to become a bhikkhuni. Huh? Mm. It's equal, but you still have some conditions. I think finish right. Eight. Eight. Not abuse monk, not to instruct the monk. Okay, not to abuse monk and not to instruct the monks. So. Um, Buddha did not want to monopolize the Sangha, but he formed rules for both bhikkhus and bhikkhunis for the following benefit. That's why the Buddha is not a dictator. Okay, It's like a democracy system. So the Sangha will decide. Okay, The bhikkhus will decide what they want. The bhikkhuni will decide what they want. So we have our Vinaya, you know, like a, a meeting, meeting. Benefits of Vinaya, Sangha, uh, Sututaya for the community of the monks, Sangha, Pasutaya for the benefits of the monks, and these are the benefits. Why the Bud Buddhism have Vinaya for the monks? Uh, for all these uh, purposes, okay? For the convenience of pleasant monk, extinguished defilement, extinguished uh, uh, all these the benefits. That's why the Buddha talked about Vinaya. To, for the Buddha teaching, the Buddha Sasana to last longer, okay? So therefore, it is clear the new Sharmana tradition was formed due to several reasons. Many was due to disagreement with the Vedic Brahmanic teaching. Mm -hmm. This is the, the reason why Sharmana tradition was formed, huh? why Buddhism was formed as well, which practice in search of worldly gains rather than seeking for spiritual achievement. The Brahmanism just for worldly gains, very less for spiritual achievement. That's why in Sharmana tradition, you can see a lot of spiritual uh, practices, huh? spiritual practices. 
Secondly, it's due to the unjust human discrimination. The Brahmins uh, system they have caste system. And thirdly, it was due to the following of the religion blindly, accepting tradition with authority. People cannot challenge the Vedas very blindly. Uh, they try the Shamana, get, they got discussions and logical thinking. Huh? The revolution of religion started from the time where uh, in a small scale it developed during the Upanishad period. Royal caste, the criteria, divided the Brahmins and justified their supremacy. They discarded the ideas of Brahmanism in search for a new way for their truth by forming Shramana tradition. So the kings, huh? the royal caste, Chaturyas also support the Shramana tradition because they were so fed up about the Brahmins that are above, on the, above the kings. So that's why Shramana say everybody equal. Oh, then the king's very happy. Everybody equal. So that's why after Buddhism was formed, King Bimbasara uh, and uh, all these, you know, the Indian kings, uh, they all supported the Buddha. Uh, uh, this is why. Because they're fed up with the Brahmin supremacy. Mm -hmm. Followers of the teeth teachers were the first shamanists, or the six teachers, and the Buddha formed extraordinary new tradition based on love, compassion, and truth, namely Sangha. Okay, mm. so Shramana traditions, uh, including the six teachers, Buddhism, you got seven. Okay, mm. okay. So with here, we have finished the Shramana tradition. Now we go to another topic called Chavarka. Okay, lastly, Oishi san, mm, Charvaka materialism in mm. India. Come. Mm. Materialism is a philosophical view that only thing that can truly uh, be said to exist is matter. Uh, that uh, fundamentally all things are comprised of material. Materialism has a long history in India. Its origin can be uh, traced back to the Veda period. Uh, this system assumed various forms of philosophical uh, skepticism, uh, logical uh, fatalism, and religious uh, and differentism. Uh, it can be traced from various sources uh, from Rig Vedas. Blas, Pati, Laluka, Brahma, Pati of Rig Veda envisaged uh, the matter uh, was ultimate reality. It is mentioned in the epics as well as uh, in the dialogue of the Buddha, Bhagavad Gita, Vraspati uh, 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 Sutra, mm -hmm. 600 BC, which is not uh, available, but uh, we construct the doctrines of materialism. Uh, from statements of the portion and uh, criticism uh, of it found in uh, uh, Paul Mikau uh, and other works. The doctrine is also known as uh, Lokayat, as it holds that only this world, Loka, exists and there is no beyond. There is no uh, for future life. Charavaka is said to be follow of uh, Brahma uh, Spati, and uh, now his philosophy is known as the Charavaka philosophy. Okay, thank you. I didn't mm -hmm. know why. So uh, now uh, we go to the next topic called uh, Charavaka. Charvaka mean materialism, material. Talk about material. So in this uh, teaching, 
uh, only material exists, nothing, nothing, nothing uh, else. Okay. So uh, this idea of materialism has very long history in India. It can be traced back in the early Rig Veda period, also have the idea of materialism already very long ago. So this system uh, thinks that uh, various forms of uh, philosophical, logical fatalism, religious indifferentism. So these are the contents of the, the, the materialism they are talking about. And uh, it can be traced from the Rukveda. So this idea already long ago in the Rukveda, you can find it in all these things. And uh, dialogue in the Buddha, with the Buddha as well, and the Bhagavad Gita, and all these things you can be found there. So, uh, so the doctrine name is called Loka Yata. Loka means the world. So means that uh, nothing beyond the world, no future life, okay? No future life. So this is the idea of a charaka. That's why uh, they only enjoy life. The previous uh, lecture, they only enjoy life because they don't believe future life. That's it. That's only material. Hmm. Okay. Uh, in almost every period of Indian philosophy, they were materialists, okay? So, uh, Javadi of Ramayana, also a materialistic teacher, King Vena of Harivamsa, also, uh, uh, Ajita Kesa Kambali, uh, also, okay, a contemporary of the Buddha, supported materialism. He was called the man of a banquet and a mill. Uh, according to the Shantarakshita, a Buddhist scholar, Ajita claimed the view that consciousness arises out of material body associated with. Right. So consciousness, it, consciousness is non-material thing, but it's a, a, a mental thing. Right? So this mental mental factor, mental factor consciousness huh, come from material body. If you don't have material body, you don't have consciousness. Means that you don't have your physical body, you would you would not have your mind. So your mind come from it, your mind come from your material body. So at the end, it's still material. Is still material, still support the materialism. This is what Ajita is saying. And our teachers, other teachers like uh, Purana Kasapa, Pakuta, uh, they supported some of other form of materialism uh, as they taught uh, a moralism. So, so no moral because uh, only, only uh, materialism. Huh? So, uh, okay, next one, we come back to Sato-san, your turn, Ken. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. The salient I, features. Mm. Salient features of Charvaka philosophy. Theory of knowledge, Epitem epistemology. The word Charvaka means sweet-tongued, from the root char to eat, or the philosophy of nourishing the body and merry making. Another name used to describe this philosophy is Lokayata, meaning worldly. Perception was the only valid means of knowledge. What is agreeable to sense perception is truth. Anything beyond perception is doubtful. Inter uh, inference and uh, testimony is not acceptable. I do not see this. I do not know this. Therefore, it does not exist. Inference is rejected as a source of knowledge. Inference is not true as it involves a universal relation, bhakti, which is never clear. With the particular knowledge, we know that a is related to particular B. On this basis of this particular knowledge, how can we jump to the co conclusion and affirm a, a, categoric, a categorical universal uh, proposition that all A's are related to all B's such? Such, such uh, knowledge as uh, difficult to prove. The only inference ac accepted are those relation relating to phenomena, because if they are, uh, if inference is discarded totally, everyday life is impossible. 
Okay, thank you. So until here. So uh, Charvaka philosophy also talk about knowledge. It's not blind faith, okay? It's not belief like that. They also kept their, uh, what you call, um, mm, very smart, uh, very smart thinking. This is called theory of knowledge. They are smart thinking, okay? Epist epistemology. So uh, so this is the meaning of Charvaka, sweet tongue and nourishing the body for merrymaking. Another uh, word for Charvaka is, remember, Lokayata, okay. In other words, oh, Charaka is Loka. Loka means talk about this world only, no future world, no nothing. Huh? Mm. So uh, that's why in this uh, theory of knowledge of Charaka, what they are talking about, they talk a few things. Okay, the first one they also talk about perception, perception, uh, thinking, uh, perception. Uh, what the only valid means of knowledge, what is agreeable to uh, sense perception is true, anything beyond perception is doubtful. Inference and testimony is not acceptable. Uh, I do not see this, I don't see this, therefore it does not exist. So it means that uh, what is truth? How to believe that what you say is a truth? You must have perception. Okay, what is perception? you must be able to see the truth. You should see, let's say that, ghost exist. Let's say you say, oh, uh, in, the, in the world, there is a ghost, uh, there are ghost exist. Then you have to prove to me why ghost exists. So I must be able to see it or I must, uh, I must be able to know it, uh, understand it. Then uh, I believe uh, ghost uh, exist in the world. This is called perception. Okay, to believe something, you must have your perception. Otherwise, uh, it is doubtful. You cannot believe what is uh what these people is saying. Uh, uh. Inference is uh um, inference is not acceptable in the uh, what you call the theory of knowledge in the Charaka. Perception is accepted. Inference is not. Okay, it's rejected as a source of knowledge. Why? This is why he says. So inference is like, let's say you say uh, ghost exist. Of course, I cannot see ghosts. You cannot, you cannot uh, let me hear the ghost, but I can use inference. Uh, let's say uh, if, if, you, if you feel like uh, somebody scratching your hand, but you see nobody, then uh, that is the ghost scratching your hand. Oh, then that must be a ghost. This is called inference. A is related to particular B. So A is B. Okay, this is called inference. So in their theory, they say cannot, this cannot be uh, accepted. Why? Because A is related to particular B. You cannot say all A's are related to all B's. Uh -huh. So this is their theory. Okay, this is the theory. Okay. Now we go on further. Uh, testimony and an author. Come. Uh, uh, next one is Rahul. Like uh, Rahul. Uh, so, Anupama is remaining. Uh, Anupama. So you both are Rahul. Which uh, so how to uh, Anupama? Uh, yes, is Anupama. You are Anupama. Okay, so I call you Anupama. Call him Rahul, lah, huh? Okay. <laughs> So other uh, power come testimony. Mm. Testimony or authority is not uh, is also not reliable because it cannot be well, verified. Very verified. It can only be verified by inference and therefore is arbitrary and unreliable. Vedic testimony is also unreliable. According to the Sarva Darshana Samgraha, only remaining book of the Charvaks, all others was destroyed. The materialistic criticize the Shruti or the traditional re revelation as a valid means of knowledge. The Vedas are full of ambiguities, absurdities, and contradictions. One text condemns certain life of action, 
prescribed prescribed by another text the vedas were developed over a long period of time and as the invaders had intermarried and settled down the speculations about gods the universe atman all changed over time the speak results never realized vedas are composition of buffoons knaves and demons sacrifice shraddha the caste system the theory of soul ascetism god creator heaven and hell were not accepted and strongly criticized nobody can draw the soul from the body and show it saying friend this is soul and this is the body casualty is not accepted there is no invariable cause or product karma and its result are not accepted those who uphold the athikavada are making a false and baseless lament the practice of giving is the doctrine of fools his meritorious offerings all end in ashes the actions do not bear any fruits the charvak practiced nattikavada elements only four uh, nattikavada means nothing uh, uh, nattikavada uh, vada means teaching or saying uh. nattikavada means the saying the teaching of nothing okay so this is a uh, particular uh, the meaning of natikavada huh? okay come next thing. elements only four kinds of primary elements earth prithvi uh, water apu and uh, air vayu and fire tejo were accepted a person is composed of four elements when he dies all the elements return and merged with the external body nothing remains of the physical body with the breaking up the body both the wise and the foolish alike are annihilated and perish they do not exist after death consciousness is a quality of the body when the body lives consciousness is the, is there when the body dies consciousness dies with it they do not believe in eternal life of the soul after death or rebirth to them atman is only a mere word there is nothing after that goal of life there is a pleasure pleasure in the world greater than pain it is because of that people eagerly desire to live rather than to die java jeevam sukham jeevita as long as you live live happily ranam kratava ghartama pibeta dringhi even when in debt basmi bhutasa dehasya when the body is burnt into ashes just a bit more puna punaragamanga kutaha how can there be coming up again Ajita Kesakambi, a contemporary of the Buddha, was a materialistic who had negative views about virtue of or virtue or vice, truths of actions, past or future lives, and eternal life. In the Brahmajala Sutta, his reply to King Ajatasattu showed his ten negative views about thieving, offering, sacrifices, merits of respect and of parents, the future, karma and its fruit, spontaneous birth, is beings and enlightened ones. Mm, thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, so these are the teaching of the Charvak. Uh, it's against the Veda. It is against the Vedas, right? It's fighting against the Vedas. They they condemn the Vedas. Uh, it's uh, ambiguous, absurd, and all these things. Uh, but at the same time, it is different from Buddhism because they talk uh, what you call. Um, they say nothing. What nothingness? Ah. Uh, uh what you and uh, uh consciousness uh when when one dies consciousness will just die uh it, there's no rebirth so this is different from buddhism this is different from buddhism so the goal of life of charaka is to enjoy life okay uh because after dying uh good people bad people foolish people wise people they are all the same they will just perish like like ash So just enjoy life. That's why they say, as long as you live, live happily. Just drink whatever and just just play whatever. Because after you you die, your body become ash. So they are they are against Brahmanism. They are uh, they are condemning Vedas, but they also condemn Buddhism. <laughs> they also condemn Buddhism. Like Ajita, he condemned the Buddha. Hey, why Buddha? You teach people do good thing. You know, uh, like uh, you talk about past future life. Yeah. Uh, thing, thing, and uh, giving offering around. It actually no need, but just enjoy life. But so they are contending both sides, huh? So uh, this is a uh, topic of Charak. Uh, so next week we will talk about the six uh, teachers, huh?
Oh, just good. One more minute. Okay, let's uh, hold all together. Buddham saranam gachami. Buddham saranam gachami. Dhamma saranam gachami. Sangham saranam gachami. Sangham saranam gachami. Tutiyan be buddham saranam gachami. ดุติยันติดัมมังสารนังกัจจามิดุติยันติดัมมังสารนังกัจจามิดุติยันติดัมมังสารนังกัจจามิดุติยันติดัมมังสารนังกัจจามิดุติยันติดัมมังสารนัง